Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Le Plata! So guys, we are at war with Bedin. Really not a serious war, just kind of us just kind of messing around. Um, you know, while we're waiting, I might as well start justifying wars against a lot of these other places because I need to start figuring out where the resources are, where I'm going to need to start conquering. Because I don't want, I want to make sure I get some of the good resources. Let's see, so some of the iron deposits are over there. Let's see. I'll get some of the coal naturally for when I go conquer some of the stuff. Comp though. Um, yeah. I kind of want to take these guys' land, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's... I'll start justifying a war to establish a protectorate over those guys. Luckily, protectorates go so quickly in this. I love it. And we're also building up our massive new clipper ship fleet. Yay! And let's see. Conservatism is losing very rapidly. 40%, 44%, like I said, we're slowly, it's taking a little bit of time, but we're slowly starting to curve everyone to being more like us. In fact, I want to see Bo, Rios, how are you guys? Ideology-wise, they are all communist. We're trying to encourage communism as much as possible. Bolivian nationalist figures, I, I figured Bolivia would try to revolt, but it's, it's futile. I kind of have a bigger army than they do, so even if they did try to revolt against me, I'm going to win. So, yeah, <laughs> it's it's kind of like me just kind of like saying, yeah, you guys are going to lose anyways. You might as well just stop. All right. And let's see. Uh, still have the same party in power. Eh, this is going to get, this is going to get, the more and more I keep holding elections, the more and more I give whatever party movements power. Like the La Plata communists are definitely becoming in power. Hey, who has the most people right now for old security? Voting rights. What what voting rights do you guys need? I literally have everything that you guys would want. You know, I think some of you guys are just crazy. Oy. You know, if I did trickle the pensions right now, I swear. How many people are employed in my country? Uh, you know what? I don't want I don't want the the conservatives to win. You better not if you were calling me into another goddamn war. I swear. Oh, it's against the UK. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, sorry about that, Sakanto. I'm not. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No! No, Netherlands! That is not your land! That is not your land! Netherlands! That is not your land! That is not your land! Okay? I don't care what you think. That you are not your land. Okay. Pro military. Okay. See, I'm hoping that this will go towards Sakanto. Good. It'll just... Good. The Dutch will not get that province. Okay. So, we should be able to siege up all this due to the Dutch being idiots and giving us power. Okay. Colonial power. Yay. Okay. Um, Get some interchangeable parts so we can get factory output a little bit better. Full action rifles I might need to get here a little bit soon. Um... Education is not exactly the greatest, but it's not exactly the worst in the world. Okay, we will encourage the gentleness. We will not get involved. Education, research points. Yes, give me all that good stuff. Okay, um, let's see. How many factories do we have? I mean, factories. How many ships do we have? Because I really want... Okay, all my ships are... Is this, is, are you guys just literally just hovering? Hey, dude, go right there. Okay. Yes, okay, they're going. They're going. Good. Law! Apparently, I can enact a law right now. That sounds like a good idea. Free trade? No, we are protectionism. We are protectionism. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Law 120. So, the Law 1420, General Common Education, was an Argentine law passed in 1844 during President Julia Artano Roca that established the country's first free mandatory net. National and Secular System Education While the Secular System side of the law caused some friction between the Catholic Church and the Argentine government, the law was nonetheless regarded as a landmark in history of the Argentine education. Yes! Why not? This sounds like a great idea. It sounds like something I totally do. Who's rebelling right now? Colombia? Seriously? Uh, is it serious? Nah, it ain't serious. We can go deal with these guys, though. <laughs> it's like, is it serious? Nah, it ain't serious. We don't have to deal with it. Okay, yeah, you guys seem like, yeah, you guys seem like you're idiots when it comes to dealing with rebels. 
Uh, just carry it away, soldiers. Just get on away. I'm still building up my forces. Okay, that's rubbish. Okay, and let's see. So, Kanto, keep sieging down the land. Hopefully, maybe the Europeans will help us siege down this land. France is apparently being Franchy and just going into Africa like it's nobody's business. Germany also seems to be going to Africa like it's nobody's business. Uh, so it seems like the seems like there's gonna be the three colonial powers of Germany, French, and Africa. Uh, wait, Germany, French, no. Germany, England, and France are gonna be the three colonial powers of the world. Eh, sounds about right. Seems about legit about what usually happens. Secret ballots, pro military, get full citizenship. Let's see. Uh, how many of our people, a lot more of our people are becoming communists, which is exactly what we want. 23%. The electoral vote is definitely changing. A lot more people are loving that communism-ish smell. Yeah, there is a communist-ish smell. You guys didn't know about it. You guys are in the know. And I'm in the know, so I would know. <laughs> That's just a stupid saying. Okay, yeah, you guys go crush, yeah, you guys go crush these guys now. You guys, go down here, because the factories are almost done. Stop hunting rebels. We're going to go send this army to go to Africa to go take down all the other little tiny things that are annoying me right now. And for convenience sake, I'm going to get central banks so that we can have a little bit better taxes. 20% protectionism. Let's do this. Let's see. And yeah, the conservatives are definitely being curved out of power. Socialism is taking over. And a little bit of insubordination is taking over. Wow. Huh. Alright, you guys should be able to go crush them. Let's see. How are my railroads being built? Oh, wow. You guys are terrible at this. You stupid. <sighs> Hate you so much right now. Hate you so much right now, capitalist. You had one job. You had one, one job. I don't really like either, to be honest. You know, this could curve me into a, long, a wrong way no matter which way I go. So I'm just going to go in the middle. Platine Nationalist! Oh wow, it's such a threat. Oh no, whatever shall I do? Uh, support- I would support the communist. I'm supporting the communist, man. Cause I'm gonna wait once the communists are in power. Gosh dang it! Okay, communists are now 21%. Shoot, okay, so now we average around 30% of their power. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting so close to curving these guys out of power. So let's see. Reactionaries, particle liberal. We just have to curve these guys out of power. We're curving, we're curving them as fast as we can. As soon as they're out of power, then we can instantly start loving ourselves more because then we have a lot more power. And let's see. You know, I just realized I could probably call America into some of my stupid wars. Hey America, would you love to come into some of my Yes! You know what, sure! Come into some of my stupid wars. Maybe you could actually go land a fleet. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I'm kind of scared now because I feel like the British might actually take more land than I want them to. Come on, guys. Finish up your god dang sieges. We've been at this for years. 80%. You've got to be kidding me. And you're not finishing up. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, well, I have an army moving down there. I don't really care about the nationalists. If they want to go do stuff, they can go do stuff. Because I'll go deal with them in a second. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. My money situation just never gets better, does it, people? I have to curve. I have to curve these stupid guys out of power. Because once these guys are out of power, then we can start dealing with everything else. I mean, they're getting curved out pretty well, but we need to keep curving them. We need to keep curving them as fast and as violently as possible. Because we need them out of power, so we can start doing planned economy and start actually building our economy. Platine reactionaries. Who cares about you guys? If you guys are powerful, no, you guys aren't powerful. Yeah, I don't really care. Okay. Let's go bigotry far and wide. I remember a time when we when we were when our country was like that. It felt like it was just yesterday. Maybe it was maybe it was yesterday for you guys, because I don't know when you guys are watching this video. But then that time it was such a lovely time. We would just all angry at everything. Okay, finally, let's go. Let's go let's go finish this gosh dang war. Sheesh. Takes by the way, do I still have this cause bell because I'm gonna use it now. So that's protective. Yeah, I'm gonna use it on Oreo. Cause I want them underneath my control. Hmm. Yay! Okay, finish up. Finish up your siege. Finish up your siege. Protectionism. Jacobson rebels. 
Now that's starting to become an annoyance. Hmm. May have to actually send one of my armies down there. Uh, but sadly, they aren't united yet. Might be a good time to go to war with Brazil. Just saying. Just saying. Okay, let's see. And how are you guys? You guys, can you guys actually make it this time and don't die halfway through? Because that'd be really nice. Okay, there we go. Okay. What? Wait, what? Huh? What? Oh, you gotta be joking! So, now we can't finish up that battle because... There we go. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Uh, the Dutch annexed what they need to annex. They annexed a little tiny region, which was probably the stupidest thing they could have done. But... Soldiers, pro-military, yay! Communism, yay! Uh, break the stakes, socialism, or yeah, let's go for it. If all you guys want to become socialists, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously like curving you guys to become more like me. Okay, yes. Okay, so 20%, 39% bullets. See, 24%, 37%, 9%, 37. Uh, it's still not quite enough. We're getting there though. We're so getting there. In the four years that I've been in power, I basically curved these guys to the point where they're almost, almost communist. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there so slowly that I'm almost mad. Okay. But we finally got a decent fleet coming over there to go kick their, to destroy everyone because I'm getting sick of all this like stupidity over here. I mean, seriously. By now, we should have already finished these guys off. Oh, okay. Full citizenship. Seems like there's some battles going on between the Dutch. The Dutch are actually losing. Wow, Dutch. That's terrible. You should never lose. You're supposed to be the big, gigantic, scary Europeans. We never lose. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to Europeans everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's go to our. Let's get some more artillery. I think artillery is going to be pretty powerful over here. Uh, anti military. No. Pro military. There we go. Okay. Send our army offshore, go destroy these guys. Let's go siege up all the lands and get this underneath my control. There we go. Whoa, that was a big support the communists. 27, 25, wow. Oh wow, that was cool. That's I was lucky right there. I'm glad they didn't. Okay. Uh, and you guys just go back. Apparently I'm having difficulties with my country. Okay, now. This is not how you do with rebels. You go right here, then you go right there. Okay, since they're kind of tiny rebels, I'm going to divide my divide my ship into two. Because, I mean, they're tiny rebels. They're not, like, big, big, scary rebels. Oh, wow! France, you guys are just expansionist. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, we have an army over there. It should be sieging pretty quickly. Oh. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Go destroy that army. At least go stop its seeds. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I, I I just got here. I'm not letting you guys do pro-military. Rich become pro-military. There we go. We don't have to do that. We don't have to move. We just have to make sure that the siege stopped. Okay. I only really care if our siege continues, but we just have to make sure the siege stopped. Okay. Free trade! Yay! Wait, wait, no, wait. We're supposed to be moving towards protectionism. Ah. Oh. Shoot. Okay, now we're going to have to go send an army back because now the rebels are starting to become annoying little pests. That's mostly because I can't... Let's just get the siege over with. Okay, jigs, whatever. Pointless, meaningless. Get our iron factory. There we go. There we go. Finally. Finally. Okay, we're at war with Arayu too. Where's Arayu? Arayu is in this part. How populated is it? Ooh, wow, that's really populated. Um, but it would also fit into my... Okay, let's go deal with these guys now. Full citizenship. Okay, let's see. Okay, it seems like we're dealing with a lot of stuff right now in our own home country. Yeah, now we're dealing with rebels that are annoying. Okay, yeah, you guys stay right here. 
Uh, by the way, start building up this fort because we're going to need to use it for future invasions. But go kick these, go start kicking all these levels out because we're going to have to start dealing with them. Oh my goodness. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Protectionism weighs the tariffs. Okay. Ah, speaking of which, why don't we raise the tariffs a little bit? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Not exactly the greatest time to go to war against all these places, but I'm going to finish these guys off now. Ah, oh, there we go. And finally, the communists are in power, which means I can now basically build my economy the way it needs to be built. Goodness gracious, that took a long time. It also means I'm going to have to go deal with all these guys too. But, British rebels, they should not be able to be able to do anything to me for any length of time. Hmm. It might just be more effective just to build an entirely new unit. Just thinking about this. But, let's just build an entirely new unit. 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 1, and then, wait, wait, now in Africa. One, two, there we go. Spill that unit and then we'll deal with the rest from there. Cause I don't really feel like, I don't really feel like bringing it back yet cause I do want to win the, the war. Bizarre, the World Trade Fair, something we couldn't be a part of because we were dealing with this stuff. We're also destroying the last little bit of this army so that we don't have to deal with it. Communism, yay. Okay, let's see, you guys at war with the French. Goodness gracious, don't you dare get destroyed by the French. Okay, you guys get destroyed by the French. I won't be able to annex you guys later. Okay, all right. You better understand that. Okay, go right here, lock them up. I mean, I'm pretty angry at these guys because this is, shouldn't be going this badly. I mean, it shouldn't be even. It shouldn't even be a competition. But this is just like stupidity. Okay, there we go. Of course not. Destroy them. Okay. Nah, nah, nah. You guys ain't doing that. Okay. Okay. I could lose that much. I have that much. Okay. Let's go right here. Let's see. Let's just siege up the rest of this land. Sieging, we're sieging up pretty fast. Not fast enough, though. Get you guys involved in it. Siege up these guys. Sieging up with these guys should be able to make it go even faster. There we go. We got more colonial maintenance. There we go. Let's go right here. That's it. Actually, I shouldn't even really care about what they siege up. As long as they don't siege back their own lands, I should be fine. Okay, let's see if we can finish this up before the episode ends. I really want to finish this up. First, oh my goodness, no way, no way did those reactionaries just rise up. How many communists could you guys also rise up? Ah, uh, my goodness, secret ballots, triplet pensions. Uh, okay, triplet pensions, you guys got it. Now, please get, now please, all you guys, calm down. Calm down down okay oh man all my new troops are being dead uh, yeah I'm gonna have to call my men back here soon because of stupid reasons like my country just does not want to be a good country and just listen to its democratic leader no they have to always revolt it's not just like hey maybe we should actually try to be peaceful about this and submit a, a nice petition no they must always have to rise up with guns and warfare you know, you know, if this was actually a true democratic system, you guys would actually try to just do with just paper and pen. That's how we've been taught since we were little. Paper and pen. That's the way you change the system. You don't go around and use guns. That doesn't change the system. That actually just makes it worse for everyone. Ugh. Okay. I'm going to annex you guys. I'm done with this war. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, good. We're going to go send these troops back. I'm not even going to put guards in these. In this army, uh, we need 
Uh, sure, we can get war justification. We're gonna send these war back. Colonial. Just display about somewhere locally. Yeah, let's do that. Because I don't want to get anyone mad at me. Well, thank you guys for watching. Sorry about that. I got a little bit angry there. But apparently my country's just going to... Actually, wow. My country went really nice for a second. Huh. That's really weird. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.